Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to see everybody back again. I'm Brad, and of course today I'm bringing you guys another fragrance review. So guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Yves Saint Laurent's Loam. Now, if you watched my previous video, you will have known that this fragrance did very, very well on that video's top 10 list. Now, the original Loam by Yves Saint Laurent often gets overshadowed by its much more popular, bigger brother, Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de Loam. However, this one I think still deserves a lot of praise. Loam is more for the classy gentleman of the daytime, where La Nuit de Loam is more for the mysterious man of the night. Now my Loam review is just going to be one swimming in a sea of seemingly hundreds. However, I hope that at the end of this video you will gain some new perspective on this cologne right here, and maybe I'll inspire you to go out and try it. So Loam can be classified as a woody floral musk, and it opens with notes of ginger, bergamot, and lemon. In the mid we get some spices, a little bit of white pepper, some basil, and violet leaf. And then in the base we have some creamy tonka bean, Tahitian vetiver, and cedarwood. Now I'm also a pretty big fan of the East Saint Laurent Splayer... Splayers? Sprayers. It spread a very good distribution of juice right there. So, what are you gonna get from Loam? Right off of the top, ooh. I always say this, if Loam were to be a shape, the smell of loam were to be a shape, right? It would be a circle, definitely, because this fragrance is very well-rounded, very smooth, well-balanced, well has very smooth edges, no harsh corners or anything like that. Right away, I get some ginger, a lot of ginger, which gives it this fresh, spicy feel. Also, I get a almost like a sweet apple accord. Even though there's no apple list, I think it's the lemon and the bergamot combining to give it a ginger and apple definitely are like the main two notes that I get. However, there's much more going on than that. There are just little hints of spices all throughout here, some little bit of a woody aspects. Of course, there's a little bit of citrus and some muskiness as well. The tonka bean gives it a very nice light creaminess to the composition. Also, violet leaf and basil are accords in here, which give it almost a transparent feeling, which almost add this effervescent, very uh, bright feeling to it. But overall, the scent is very smooth, very creamy, very easy and approachable. And now this is not a very masculine or aggressive fragrance. Rather, this has almost been called unisex before because it's definitely not super masculine or aggressive like I just said. And now Loam is definitely safe both in terms of how it makes you feel and how wearable it is. It's safe that you can wear it and everybody's gonna like it, nobody's gonna dislike it. But it's also safe and it is very comforting, very relaxing. You can almost feel like you can let yourself go when you're wearing this fragrance or if you're around somebody who's wearing this. It's a very nice, inviting, warm feeling. Uh, East Saint Laurent definitely used a very nice, high quality of ingredients in this one right here. Definitely you can smell the quality in it. Like I said, very well blended and when you're wearing this you come off as a modern and sophisticated gentleman. It's very classy. Now the only downside I can find with the smell is the opening is just oh, um, amazing. However, the dry down just doesn't really compare to the other fragrances that would be flankers of loam. So this dry down to me is just a little bit boring, a little bit basic and generic. Not as good as the dry down of Land Wheat or Loam Le Parfum. All in all, the smell is very, very good. It's a very classy and a very safe scent. Now, while Loam is famous for smelling great, it is also infamous for having pretty poor performance However, that is not the case on my skin. Thank you. Longevity on me is about middle of the road. I usually get four to six hours, so there's definitely room for improvement there. However, guys, the projection, which I know a lot of people complain about, I don't know what it is, it projects wonderfully off my skin, guys. Wow, this thing just has awesome, awesome projection. Really, everybody can smell it from a five to 10 feet away for at least two to three hours. This thing really pushes off my skin, everybody gets whiffs of it, which is a great thing because this thing smells very, very good. So guys, the projection and the overall performance, bam, kills it guys, wow. Amazing, amazing projection off my skin. Who would have known that Loam projects that good off my skin? I would say it even projects better than Land Wheat to Loam, guys. Did you hear what I just said? It projects on me better than Land Wheat's. Now, as far as versatility goes, this along with Blue de Chanel are easily my most versatile fragrances. This one may be even more versatile because this one can be worn any occasion guys, any season, day, preferably overnight, but yeah, just super, super versatile juice. 
on pretty much any occasion you're going to smell classy and approachable. I find through my wearings that this does work a little bit better when you're dressed up more in, let's say, a formal or work environment. However, it does amazing for college students like myself in school or even casually. It's, like I said, a very relaxing, safe, and pleasing, inviting scent. Now, guys, I'm going to give you time to pause this video and head over to my last video, which is my top 10 most complimented fragrances. So I'm going to give you some time now to open up a new tab and watch that one really quick. Okay, you're back. Welcome back. So now the secret is out, guys. This is indeed my most complimented fragrance of 2016. I don't know what it is about it. It just really works with my skin chemistry. It really works with my personality and my style. I try to be smooth. I try to be classy and very gentlemanly like this fragrance is. So that's why I think it works so well and just gets me a lot of compliments, guys. I don't really need to talk too much about it. You already know this is a big time compliment getter for me. And I think overall, a lot of people are gonna like it, guys. Pretty much nobody has disliked this one or has even been, oh, it's okay. Everybody has loved, absolutely loved the smell of this one. It is a, definitely a people pleaser. A lot of very good reactions with this one. So who can I think wear this? Uh, I think anybody can wear this, but I think you should just have a relatively mature and sophisticated palette and personality in order to pull this one off the best. And two to three sprays is just fine. I have one spray on still here. Very good projection. I can smell it easily all throughout this room right now. So with that, let's move right on in to the ratings, guys. As far as smell goes, I'm gonna give Loam a four and a half out of five. Very close to being a perfect five out of five. Like I said, the only thing that drags it down is the dry down is a little bit basic and generic in my opinion. However, what you can get from this is ginger, apple, very smooth, creamy, balanced, and well blended. Touches of spice in here, woodsy nuances, a little bit of musk, a little bit of citrus. It's got a lot of elements, but they just combine so well to make a really unique and beautiful scent. Performance now is gonna be a three and a half out of five stars. The performance, like I said, I get average longevity, could be better. However, the projection is really where this one shines on my skin. Very good projection. People can smell me five, 10, even 15 feet away upon first application. And I get that type of range for at least two hours, which is phenomenal. So very good performance on my skin. Versatility, guys, what more do I need to say? This is an extremely versatile scent. If you're looking for just one fragrance, that could be your go-to, dumb reach, any season, and if you fit the type of personality that this is, a little bit more of a metrosexual, smooth kind of a character, this one is going to be your next signature scent, guys. I'm telling you right now, Loam is an extremely versatile scent. Day or night, it can handle the hot summer heat. It can also handle the cooler days. Formal, work, casual, it can really do it all. Compliments, like I said, no surprise here. A 5 out of 5 again. My most complimented fragrance, like I said, because it works with my personality so, so well. It's very nice. Everybody that has smelled it likes it. Girls really seem to like this one. And I would even say that they would wear this on themselves, but they said that they like it on a man more, so there you go. Guys, overall, this is another 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. This is in my Fragrance Hall of Fame for a reason. I absolutely love this juice. I think it just works with me so well, and I know it works with a lot of other guys too. It is just absolutely awesome. So that was my take on Loam. What's your take? I'm very interested to know. Let's start the discussion down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you got a new perspective on East St. Laurent's Loam. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.